Uh, thank you, Excellency, for those remarks. Zimbabwe is truly, uh, truly open for business. Uh, I just want to fill in some gaps with a bit of detail. Uh, for those of you who don't know much about Zimbabwe but are keen to, to follow through and, uh, and, and invest. Um, uh, Zimbabwe will be joining a group of six countries in the next two years, which are the fastest growing countries in Africa, growing at about 6% per annum. So it will be Zimbabwe, Rwanda, uh, Ghana, uh, uh, Tanzania, uh, uh, Ivory Coast, what have I left out? I think I've covered all of them. All growing above uh, 6%, those are going to be the fastest growing countries in the world. And, and uh, that's going to happen there. I'm just showing a chart, and you expect to see the, uh, if the colors are not clear, uh, uh, the Africa uh, uh, graph uh, uh, push up a, a, a lot higher. It is, it's, these are the fastest uh, growing countries, and that, that includes uh, uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, uh, we have a policy direction uh, in terms of vision. Uh, the president has, has launched the Vision 2030, as he remarked, which will move Zimbabwe to a middle-income country with an income per capita of $3,500 by year 2030 uh, through the pillars of stronger governance, transparency, macro stability, inclusive growth, infrastructure investment, and finally, social development in a way that creates a, a cohesion. We have a, a strategy for enacting the vision, which we're calling the Transitional Stabilization Program, which the, the ex His Excellency will launch uh, uh, in the next uh, four weeks, which tries to then drill down to see how this can be enacted. And a key pillar of that is macro policy, which uh, I, I, I look after. But a slew of sectors will be, will be targeted, macro policy, institutional arrangements in terms of strengthening institutions, uh, the growth of the services sector, investing in public infrastructure, particularly in inclusive infrastructure, developing human capital, and of course, uh, uh, gov gov governance uh, uh, reforms. Um, uh, let me remind you, those of you uh, uh, who may not uh, know much about Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe has got an excellent human capital uh, uh, base uh, uh, in terms of literacy levels, uh, levels of education. It, it is up there, uh, uh, absolutely. It has an abundance of natural resources. Top 40 minerals in the world are found in Zimbabwe. Uh, it has got a favorable location right in the center of Southern Africa uh, uh, with good infrastructure. Even if you go there now, there's good infrastructure for you to drive around. Uh, but we need more infrastructure uh, to make sure that we have 99% coverage of the road networks, access to, to power, uh, uh, water, and, and sanit sanitation. Uh, we're performing reforms, as uh, His Excellency has, has announced it, and the transitional plan will further uh, 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 enunciate that. We're pursuing a, a debt relief uh, strategy or restructuring strategy so that we can catch up with our areas, uh, which will allow us to unlock the, the flow of capital uh, uh, from, from, from the rest of the world. Um, in terms of the economy, in 30 seconds, uh, our, our sectors will be well, agriculture, uh, services. Actually, the services sector has grown significantly. It's now 19.5% of, of, of the economy. Uh, 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 agriculture is about 11.1%. Uh, agriculture is growing at about 14% per annum right now. Uh, the fastest growing sector is mining which is growing at about 30% and is a big driver of the growth that, that, that I spoke about, and, and so forth and so forth. Uh, those of you who care about uh, labor participation rates, uh, uh, that's what they look like. We've got a high female labor ratio participation, and I wanted to show you this chart specifically to show that we, we have a good gender balance, at least strive to get to, towards one uh, in our, uh, our work, work environment. Uh, on, the, on the just broader macro uh, figures, as I said, uh, we're projecting 4.2% uh, this year. We're likely to, to be at, at 6%. Uh, we'll be dealing with the fiscal uh, imbalances that the President has already uh, mentioned uh, to make sure that our budget deficit drops to single digit and is able to work in conjunction with monetary policy to create a stable uh, macro environment through a variety of, 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 of strategies by expanding the tax base, make sure that there's bigger coverage, and also controlling expenditure, dealing with corruption, and improving the efficiency of collection uh, uh, from our borders and, and, and from, from within. Um, uh, in terms of the fiscal balances, our current account is been well behaved, at minus 2.6% uh, of GDP uh, average, so we're not getting any risk uh, on, on, that, on that front. 
Um, uh, I must say that those of you who are investing in the equity market, the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange has cumulatively outperformed the American market. It has retained 2,000% since March uh, uh, 2009. The S&P, the American market, has done 140%. Invest in Zimbabwe. That is the message. <laughs> you make money. And, and you know what? Given the literacy rate of Zimbabwe of uh, uh, the order of uh, uh, you know, 85%, uh, you, look, you compare that to, to uh, uh, GDP per capita, really we should be up there. That stock of human capital should deliver more productivity and up there. So there's a, a gap that we have to traverse. It's going to happen. And that's what we mean by getting to that upper middle income status uh, uh, in, in, in 2030. Uh, um, I'm just giving, the, I compare Zimbabwe, Kenya, and so forth, and South Africa, uh, so that you can see where we, we stack up. Uh, I'll just move faster. In terms of, of, of exports, the bulk of our exports are, is the mining uh, uh, sector. It produces 61% uh, of all our export uh, uh, revenue. So it's gold, the governor will, will elaborate on the gold sector. It, it's platinum, uh, it's, uh, it's chrome, and, and other minerals. This year we had a, already we were showing that there will be a record uh, gold output uh, uh, going forward. And we want to do more to support the sector because that's what will help us build gold reserves for us to have a stronger uh, uh, monetary policy and exchange, exchange rate policy environment going forward. You need reserves to, to have a, a, a strong currency, as, as you can imagine. So I'll move faster. Uh, in terms of imports, uh, 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 we import quite a bit, fuel, wheat, you know, uh, 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 cooking oil, and so forth. Uh, so, so, but our current account is very disciplined. As I said, minus 2.6% of GDP is, is, is not bad. Inflation has been well behaved, hovering between six, 2 and 6%. Currently, we're at about 4%. We think it may creep up. I was watching the prices. I must say, the last week, uh, I mean, so, so we, we just hit that 6% mark. But it's still, it's still reasonable, uh, uh, in my view. Uh, I don't think we should be able to, 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 to go about that. Now, um, uh, in terms of minerals, uh, there's a map of why, 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 what it looks like in terms of distribution. In, in terms of geological services, we have mapped the whole of Zimbabwe. We know what's where, and we know what to find, what, whatever minerals. I must hasten to say that the mining sector needs $11 billion uh, of investment to, to unlock all the value that, that is underground. So that's an opportunity uh, for you. Uh, go for it. Uh, on the soft commodities front, uh, agriculture, uh, we're doing very well on tobacco. And again, the governor will elaborate. We had a record season this year on tobacco. Uh, uh, we, was it, uh, we had, what, 25? Yeah, 250 million. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, uh, it's the best season ever, I think, since... In the, in, the, in the last 40 years. In the life of the tobacco sector, this was the best year. That's, that's, that's what I'm, I'm hearing. So it's, it's all look, look, looking good. Uh, opportunities are, are abound here, whether you're looking at uh, maize, uh, uh, sugar cane, soya beans. Uh, the sector is open for business. We've run a very successful program, which is excellent. It started when it was vice president called the Command Agriculture Program, Presidential Input Program, which has brought the bulk of our of our farmers into uh, uh, the more productive uh, agricultural space, where they're looking at, at, at maize, at, at wheat. Uh, they're in there uh, uh, doing it uh, uh, and making sure that we're, 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 we're self-sufficient in food and, and we don't in, import a, 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 as much. Now, uh, manufacturing sector is quite diverse. Uh, uh, its growth is about 3%, so it's not been growing strongly. It's been impacted by the shortage of foreign currency uh, uh, power costs and so forth, but also competitiveness issues because we're using a hard currency, which is U.S. dollar. It has benefits because that has stabilized inflation, but then the costs, uh, as they say in economics, you benefit somewhere, you lose somewhere. That, that, that's, it shows with the manufacturing sector only growing at 2.6%, uh, just below 3% uh, per annum. But it's well diversified, and the, the idea is there is to retool that sector and move the capacity utilization uh, 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 upwards. Uh, I, I happen to own a plastics uh, factory myself, which I've owned for, for, for almost 30, 30 years. I know the issues uh, very, 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 very well uh, all, on, on the ground when it comes to manufacturing. Now, on, on infrastructure, it's a great opportunity. The president talked about the pu uh, public-private uh, partnerships that he's, he's pushing for you to be crowded into, into this space transparently. 
uh, and would like your, your resources in doing so. As government, we're going to upscale uh, our capacity uh, to, to, to you know, work with you to make sure these PPP, PPPs work, they deliver value for, for you, and they deliver value for, for, for us as well, the, the, the Zimbabweans. Um, we have a very strong financial sector as well capitalized. The governor can, can elaborate. Uh, I, I want to say more, more about that. All I can say is that we just need more innovation in the, in the financial sector, whether it's introducing uh, uh, exchange-traded funds, which I tried to do, and then uh, while I was busy working on it, a week later I got a call that I should join the government. So I dropped it <laughs> and joined the government. So, but I think Zimbabwe is great if you want to launch an exchange-traded fund, uh, just to make sure there's a, an efficacy into your you know, entry into the market uh, or, or indeed exit, at least offer that to, 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 to investors. Uh, is 2,000 percent rate of return since March 2009. What more do you want, you know? So um, the arrears issue, which my colleague will elaborate on, was seized with this. Uh, we need to obviously complete phase now one. Uh, we've paid off the IMF. We now need to deal with the, 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 the African Development Bank and the World Bank, they rank pari pass you. You can't clear one without clearing the other. So we need $2.2 billion to clear that. Once they are done, then we attack the next lot, which is the $4 billion, uh, uh, the Paris Club debt, which is bilateral. And we are going to begin to engage on, on, on that front. We'll say more when we're in Bali at the World Bank IMF annual meetings. We'll meet some of you. Uh, our roadmap will be clearer as we go. Uh, but I must say that work has already started through the, in Lima, we call it the Lima process, uh, which has allowed us to focus and narrow uh, uh, our, 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 our roadmap. Uh, one day we'll be coming to you when all of this is done for a euro bond issue. We, 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 we want to get there, get back into the market after a full uh, credit rating from Moody's and Fitch and, and, and others. So I'm, I'm going to move faster. Uh, uh, the Excellency has already mentioned that we amended the Indigenization Act. Now you can invest as a foreign investor. You don't need a local partner. It's not compulsory. Although I always say, you know what? If you have the right partner on the ground, that's also insurance because they know the train. They can uh, move into the corridors for, for regulators and so forth, get you out of trouble uh, you know, uh, some of the time. A uh, partner is always a good thing, but it's not compulsory. It's, it's up to you. But what was seized with the making sure that the ease of doing business environment is indeed easy. Indigenization uh, Act was one way we did it. Uh, uh, the president on um, a Tuesday announced that we'll be amending the Companies Act so that it is easy then for investors to literally take a day to register a company online. Why not? Uh, and this whole huge slew of uh, other uh, uh, you know, reforms that will uh, uh, be, be enacting, I won't spend uh, too much uh, time on them. Uh, maybe just to say that your investment is safe in Zimbabwe. We adhere to the law. We have the judiciary system that works. We will have an amicable uh, legal resolution for any dispute uh, through, through our court system. Here I've got, a, again, a list of legislative uh, measures or other uh, 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 yeah, measures that will be enacted. Uh, the president announced these. I've only listed 10 of them. And now in his State of the Nation address to Parliament on, on Tuesday, the companies and other entities bill as the number one, and then a whole list of other things, the Mines and Minerals Act, the Gold Trade Bill, Pressure Stones, and so forth all the way down, including dealing with cyber crime, cyber security. We abide by the law, and we've got all the instruments for making sure that your investment is safe and, and, and you, you benefit uh, uh, and you enjoy that 2,000% rate of return I, I mentioned uh, 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 earlier. Uh, I won't uh, talk about that. I won't talk about that. All I can say is Zimbabwe is open for, for business, and we hope to see you uh, uh, more and more in Harare uh, going forward. I now take this opportunity to invite my colleague, uh, Dr. Manguja, the governor, to say, say, say his remarks before I transition to my colleague from Exotics. Over to you, John. Thank you.